thing. Hey, David, can you hear me okay? Oh, no worries. I see you're muted. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. Perfect. All right, I'm about ready to start broadcast, so. All right. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Good job. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey guys, Paul Counts here, and so excited to have you guys here as a special customer-only webinar for those that purchased and invested in the amazing stock video package. And I'm going to show you some really simple ways to create powerful videos using this software, and also going to introduce you to my single most favorite uh, video software as far as your know, video player analyzing your videos analytics for videos um, it is by far the simplest and most powerful video tool in my opinion and I feel for anybody that is working with videos online you should be using this because this is honestly my go-to video solution so I'll reveal what that is and I've arranged a very special price for you guys at the end of this but before uh, we get going I just want to make sure everybody can see my screen okay uh, this is being recorded. I know we're going to get that question a few times, but this is definitely being recorded right now. Um, if you can just type real quick, if you can hear me okay, that'd be fantastic. I see we got Rob from California. Uh, Jim is here. Great screen image and audio. You can see in here. Love it. You guys are very active. I appreciate that. Fantastic. This is a great crowd. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and type those as we go along. And I'm going to be using Camtasia to create some pretty basic videos here and show you guys how you can take uh, the stock videos and kind of combine them into something special. So just, you know, some real basic video editing. And then the main focus of this is going to be on the software. So, all right, since everybody can hear me and we are recording, uh, let's go ahead and start this off. And again, there'll be a Q&A at the very end as well. So we'll answer any further questions you guys have. So, all right, excited to have you here. So on today's webinar, as I mentioned, uh, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you step-by-step uh, -step how to easily build amazing videos using your stock videos that you just picked up. So I'll show you how to add them to your timeline. I'm going to show you how to uh, add text over them if you would like, uh, but the most important thing is how you can import the videos into a, a basic video editing software, how you can add music to it, and how you can create something special, and then you know you can start to work with the, these videos really easily, because some people you might be brand new to that, a lot of you this uh, might be something that's, you know, something you don't necessarily need, but the most important part of this webinar is I really wanted to introduce you guys to, again, my all-time favorite video software, and it's not a joke. I use it for my business, and I rely on it to run my business. And then and then, I'm not going to be shy to tell you guys that at the end of this, I have lined up a very special deal for you, and that is because this video software is so good, uh, but I have lined up a deal that you honestly cannot find anywhere else online for this software, and so I'm really happy to share that deal with you. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's start creating a video uh, for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off the PowerPoint here, and the software that I have open is called Camtasia. So this is the software that I'm using. I personally am a big fan of Camtasia. Um, it's become a very powerful video editing software, and the reason I'm sharing this instead of some of the other paid video editing tools out there, or the free ones, is because I feel Camtasia gives you a lot of flexibility. Right now, you can actually get a free trial for Camtasia. I know in the past it was like 30-day free trial that you can get. So it's one of these tools where you can play around with and use the full version for about 30 days. And the company that creates Camtasia is called TechSmith. And every once in a while, AppSumo will run a deal for Camtasia as well. But if you go to techsmith.com, you can download a full working version. You'll get to use it for 30 days, and I'm just double-checking on that. So, get yeah, get started for free right here, and you can actually download. You have to put in your email, 
but you literally, what's cool about them as opposed to a lot of other solutions is they give you the full working version. So there's no like, <coughs> none of this guessing like, well, I can make cool videos, but I can't do anything with them. Uh, with Camtasia, you actually get full access for 30 days. So it's well worth your time to try it out. And that's what I'm going to be using in this webinar. Again, the same methods are going to apply whether you're using Windows Movie Maker, whether you're using, uh, you know, Adobe Premiere. If you're one of those users, using this, uh, the videos is going to be very similar. So let's go right in here to Camtasia, open up a brand new project, and we'll dive right in. So here I am on Camtasia, uh, inside Camtasia, and. The first thing is you want to know whether no matter what video software you are using is to import your media. Importing your media, that means your graphics, that means your videos, that means your audios. That is what import media is and so you need to import the documents you're working with into your software first so then you can start to use them. And again, the focus of this webinar is twofold. It's to introduce you to creating your first videos and introducing you to how to make really cool videos using these stock videos so that you can really look like an expert in your market. And that's kind of the idea. And then the second part, of course, is showing you how to display your videos online. So I'm going to go to my external hard drive where I have these amazing uh, video files saved. And let's have those pull right up here. So uh, give that just a moment. And here are some of the video clips that you guys have access to. So let's take just a couple of these. And so we'll grab this one here. Let's grab some of these from Barcelona. And let's say we're doing like a Barcelona tourist guide, you know, review, for example. And let's pretend that we're selling luggage, you know. And, and again, you have to think outside the box with how you use these videos. But Here's some great clips from Barcelona, a trip that Leon took. And while he was in Barcelona, he got out his camera and made some amazing uh, scenes for you guys. And so you could have a tourist blog, a tourist website, a travel blog where you're an affiliate for Amazon or eBay Partner Network selling luggage. You get the idea you could use these. Uh, you can use it for any number of purposes. Like if you're an internet marketer and you're showing people the dream lifestyle, well, let's show people, hey, imagine what can happen if you travel the world. And you could even start with this airplane shot, which was happened to be filmed right in Seattle when Leon was visiting up here. So we'll grab a couple of these clips and go to open. So I'm just going to open those. And these video files have now appeared on inside my software. Now, in any video editing program, you're going to find what's called the timeline. So you're going to find the timeline here. And so this is what that is. The timeline usually is going to be at the bottom. We need to add these videos to the timeline. So I'm going to go down here and add these videos right here. So there's that. And let's go down here. And we'll throw that in there. So again, I'm just dragging these video files, literally just dragging and dropping them in here. So you guys can see that. Now again, some of these are a little bit longer than we're going to end up needing, so we can always knock down the sizes there and right there you guys can see that I'm just dragging and dropping those in so very simple right there okay so now we've added all our videos here so if I were to hit play on that you see uh, Leon's videos play and I want to point this out it's why I'm doing this webinar training for you is that some of the time you guys are going to notice that these videos are slow when you import them into your video editing program and that's a twofold reason. Number one could be your computer's capacity. Um, but the main reason is, is that these files are rich in quality, as you can see. So they're little larger file sizes. So you do get that stuttering effect that you see, that little slower um, you know, transition. It's not as smooth. But when you export the clips, because I actually used the video that I made, which had about, oh, I had about 50 or so of the clips. Like I just showed a large variety of the clips on the on the sales page that actually had the same stuttering issue as I made them but when I exported them they were smooth as you guys saw so just keep that in mind there's nothing wrong with the video files just know that uh, but just know that because of the fact there's a lot of there's just so much quality behind these you might run into some of the stuttering issues there as you know as you you get them loaded on your timeline so so there's there's those clips 
and at any point inside Camtasia, it's really cool. Like if you decide, hey, I want to just cut that down, that scene down a little bit, you literally just highlight the video clip you want to work with. And what's cool about it is the transitions are already super smooth. So within Camtasia by default, you don't have to worry so much about transitions unless you want to get you know a little fancier and add in some additional transitions, which I will show you here in just a second. So we're going to add in a couple quick transitions here. And so you just go up here to transitions. It's going to show up, you know, when you're inside your, your file there. And you could do like, let's see, they got the page turn, they've got the ripple, they've got the slide to the left. If you highlight any of these, they'll show you what it looks like. So I could say, hey, let's add the ripple effect to that video. And let's add the slide left to this first video here. And so there we go. So we're, we're kind of getting, you know, our first little video laid out here. And let's see how that plays. Sometimes it takes a moment for the clips to render and catch up. So you can see that transition may not show up there until you've rendered the project. Just keep that in mind. That happens to me often. And that's why we're doing this video so nobody's panicked when they, when they see the little stuttering in the videos. So the next thing we've got here is we want to add like music. So we want to add some music. Now to add music, it's the same process. You're just going to go down to the plus sign and choose import media. And I'm going to just choose on my computer, I have... Let's see here. So let's go to my Seagate uh, HP1. Let me go back here, find that. Okay. I'm going to grab a, there we go, here it is. Here's a little audio clip. Again, these could be the stock audio clips that I that we included in the package. It could be anything, royalty-free audios that you have. So you can actually add those to your timeline really easily with Camtasia. Now we can adjust it so it, the music matches the project. So we just did that. Another thing you can do is you can actually bring the audio down a little bit. So if I wanted to add like voice narration to this, so if I wanted to do, you know, a little voice narration or import an audio of me talking, for example, I could drag the background music down and then insert my voice up here and then raise the level up by just dragging and dropping right here. They make it really simple when working with audio. Another thing I really enjoy about Camtasia. So, so here you've got a really cool little song going and, and it looks really good with with the clips playing in the background. And the next thing we've got here, so let's add in the text effects. Let's add in the text effects here is the final you know, kind of element that we want to add here. So up here they've got annotations, is what they're called, annotations. And you can add in these various text effects here. So I kind of like these because it kind of just jumps out at you. And you can drag this almost wherever you want it to go. And so let's just go here and then you can just you just start typing in there in that box. So let's say www.luggagereviewsite.com. Let's just pretend that you have a luggage review site and you're encouraging people to do travel, right? So we're pretending you're going to use these videos as an affiliate marketer. So there you go. Or if you're trying to encourage people to travel and live their dreams and build the internet marketing lifestyle, you could throw your website link in there if you wanted to. You could you know, do whatever you want to do and then add your voice narration to the top of it. Really make this video pop. If you're doing this for local clients and you have, you're taking some of the videos of the roofer or the painter, you want to just slap their website on there, you could do that also. I mean, there's some cool stuff you could do, like you can also add in the thought bu bubble. You know, imagine traveling in style. Right, I just threw that in there. You could have this guy right here thinking something, the person, the airplane logo, you could have that showing up there. And if I want this URL to actually show up throughout, I can literally take it and extend it so it's going to play throughout this entire movie, so that way it's always there. And then I can extend this out so it cuts out after this 
clip, right? So you guys see what just happened there? I can also go back up here to media, back up here to media, and then I can import, let's say one other clip, let's say import media, and let me find one other movie clip to insert. So let's say this, let me just grab that beach scene. And we can take that beach scene and make it another layer and at the same time resize it. So it looks like we're literally watching the news, if you will. And you see that? We've got our music playing. We've got that playing within it. Now, again, you, you would definitely would need a reason to be doing that, but I'm just showing you guys the power of Camtasia and working with the different tracks. So I'm going to take that out because I don't think it fits very well there. So let's go here. Okay, and that's our, our play window. And so there we go. We've, we've now built a pretty simple, I think, pretty cool little video. And let's go up here to share and then go to local file, share and local file. I like to go to the MP4 only up to 1080p. That means it's going to be an HD quality video clip. I'm going to click on next and let's go over here to just create a folder and call this example video. Example video. So there it goes. Now that is playing. Okay, so let's just label this example video. So now Hopefully you guys can watch this again and just see how simple it is to import your clips, work with your clips, and create really powerful, powerful, simple videos um, through this. So there we go. So now our video is rendering. Again, we use Camtasia for this. And let's see if we have any questions. Yeah, no, um, Arlene just said, I hope we'll have access to this replay forever. Um, I need to see this again and again. Yep, definitely you will have access to it. It's really simple. You can just slow it down and watch it again. Um, can you put in a GIF? You can uh, put in like a GIF image and you could slide in some other animations. Um, they tend to work pretty well. They actually work with pictures also. So you can take pictures and slide those in there. There's a lot of flexibility there. So while this video is rendering, you know, the, I'm going to jump to the second part of this presentation. And the second part is to really show you guys the engine that's been behind a lot of my product launches. And that's, you know, this is not like me just sitting here saying, hey, I endorse this product because I, you know, I think it's a great tool. And, and you know, no, this is a tool that I have thoroughly, that I have thoroughly tested, that I have used for my business. Eric Holmland and I, Eric Holmland, who's a video sales letter master, who partnered with me on this launch. You guys know Eric. And, you know, Eric uses this software, uh, software is called Simple Video Management System, and before you go out to Google, just know you're going to get a very special deal here, but the software that we're using is Simple Video Management System from the NAMS Toolkit team, and this is the software we use for our video sales letters. I mean, Eric Holman has done hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of video sales letters in, the, in his internet marketing career. He was a big uh, user of JW Player and some of the bigger players out there, and also like you know just kind of custom coding his own videos to play how he wanted them to play and and Eric is somebody that has a very particular way that he wants his videos to run because it helps his conversions and he has noticed simple video management system helps him do this in in a matter of seconds what would take several minutes to do and literally I love it because you can change things out on the fly and I'm going to show you how simple the software is, and I literally use it. This is not a joke. We used it to power this product launch, so we trust this software enough to say, hey, you know, we trust this to power our launch and all the videos on our sales letter. So how the video plays without, a, uh, without the controls on it, that is because of simple video management system. How the video plays, you know, shows up and doesn't autoplay, on our, on our sales page when the front part, you know how they don't play on top of each other, that's simple video management system. And we use it to power our, our business for all our product launches and I'm going to show you guys several of my product launch examples or just a few of them. But there we go. So you guys can see that 
kind of the flexibility that I've used with this tool. So you've got unlimited sizes and unlimited ways to display and play your videos. And that's like, look at this one. This is kind of cool. I had tremendous conversion. My hair really looks like a cockatoo here, but um, I had really good conversions on this. And I, I actually was testing this and testing this player. Eric thought it was brilliant because he'd never seen a skinny video like this. And the way I filmed that video, I was, it was late at night and I was not thinking of how I was holding my phone. So my video did not align as I wanted it to. So thanks to the power of simple video management system, I could crop my video down and actually have a really cool way to play a video and still fit within the theme of my sales page. So again, I use it for all my product launches out there, even my niche products. And I even have a product with a Disney Channel star that's on the featured on the homepage of ClickBank. And we are using SVMS as well to power that. So, you know, SVMS is, is something that I totally believe in and, and everybody should be using it. So with all that said, let me show you guys how powerful it is. You guys understand that I use it for product launches. But what's cool about it is I still am discovering new things all the time. They're constantly adding it. The team behind it I worked with in the past and great, great people. And the best part about it is that I believe when several when I first started using this, I think it was on version two, I want to say, or version three, but it's now up to version 7.4. So, I mean, to say that they take care of their software is an understatement. So it's always upgraded with the latest flexibility, and it integrates seamlessly within WordPress. So I want to show you guys, I've got my little website here, my test website, and I'm just going to show you guys from start to finish how to add a video to Whoops, let's go here, pjc.io. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to add a video to your blog, um, you know, to your website. So we're going to come in here and just go to add, go to add new over here. And add, this is how simple it is to use. So you just go to add new. And then you can choose if you want to have your video play from an MP4 URL. So let's say you uploaded it to Amazon S3 or you've uploaded it to YouTube. So I'm just going to pull a random video from YouTube and display it on my website. And what's great about SVMS is that you can use it for literally anything um, that you're doing. So you can take YouTube videos. You can do it for blogging. You can do it for sales pages, for your landing pages. And again, I'm not going to, you know, there's so many powerful features of this that I'm just basically scratching the surface here to show you guys, but it is a video player that simply works. So you know that the videos are gonna work at all times. So let's just say, what does the fox say? I'm just gonna grab that video here. And let's grab that link. And I'm gonna grab the short URL for it. So it's really easy to do. All right, so go to share. Grab that link there, and then I'm going to drop it right into the software. So go out down here to YouTube URL, drop that in. What does the fox say example? All right, so there it is playing on YouTube. Now, this is what really separates SVMS apart. It's got all these capabilities here. So I could add a media file. So you guys have all landed on those websites that have a, a video, but they have a really cool image that displays before the video plays. And it may not necessarily be, the problem with a lot of those is, a lot of times is that if you upload a video to YouTube, you're gonna go to the default, whatever YouTube picks. You could have the worst face in the world or whatever. It's just not the best video to start with. So SVMS allows you to add a picture so that you could add like, whatever you want to add to it to encourage people to watch the video. Like you could click here to play the video, that kind of thing, if, if you didn't have the video set to autoplay. You can go here to video width and you can actually change it. So I can go here and say, all right, what's going to work best for me is going to be 640 by 360. And we can say, I want to make sure my video is center aligned. I want to make sure my video autoplays and due to the fact it's, let's pretend it's a sales video, I want to hide the control so people can't fast forward. And then I could also do some really cool stuff. So at the end of this video, 
I could actually have HTML that automatically displays. So I could take my opt-in form and have my opt-in form code just drop in below the video. I could have my buy now link and have it instantly drop in below my video. So I could come here, let's say five seconds, and then I'm gonna take this, and this is a simple WYSIWYG editor, so what you see is what you're most likely gonna get. And, oh, look at that, guys. Look how beautiful that video turned out. All right, so that is awesome. All right, so now we're gonna take that video, we'll upload it to YouTube in a minute. But first, hello, this is SVMS at work. So I'm gonna take this, bold that out there hit that I could make that be an affiliate link right so I could make this become my affiliate link if I wanted to all right there it is pjc.io forward slash amazing in fact you guys could go there now if you wanted to to check it out um, at the end of my video I could have it redirect right so at the end of my video I could have it automatically redirect to where I want it to go so I could let's say it's a video that's reviewing a product I'm doing a product review video or I'm taking people through a sequence of videos before they land on my final offer and whatever the case may be as soon as they're done watching that video you can have it set to automatically redirect them when that video ends people don't even have to click on the call to action so I'm gonna take that out though because I want you guys to see how powerful the HTML feature is actually I can do both so there we go and then there's other really cool features I mean they've got a player background right in there and we're gonna dig into more of the stuff that they have so I'm gonna hit on save here as soon as I hit save this is what popped up I've got a WordPress short code a raw code or an iframe code now I'll tell you what each one of these are so WordPress short code means if I have SVMS installed on my website, right, so it's installed on my website and I'm using WordPress, all I have to do is grab this simple code and instead of where it says insert HTML codes, like if I'm using Optimize Press to build my sales pages or any of the other page builders out there, you would grab this, page builders that work with WordPress, you'd grab this short code and just put it into the custom HTML feature and boom, your video is going to play. If you are somebody that's embedding this on your website, on another website so I can take this and have it installed on one one of my domains but then I can go to one of my other websites like an HTML page or let's say lead pages or click funnels or something like that and I can install using the iframe code or raw code depending on what that page builder use so you know SVMS is is a lot more than just a your average video player it literally allows you to play videos on every page builder imaginable just about every page builder imaginable integrates perfectly with them it also the probably the coolest feature as well is it automatically resizes to fit mobile screens and devices so if your video is way too big for a mobile device but it works great on a computer you will find out that your video gets resized in fact YouTube does not even do that right YouTube does not even do that for you so if you have the YouTube player just embedded you're going to get all kinds of garbage, you know, maybe like the, the videos that the suggested videos, related videos that show up. There's going to be all that kind of stuff uh, that may happen. And so with SVMS, you can redirect the URL after the video, redirect them somewhere else. You can have total, a lot more control over the video. You can control how it looks on mobile devices. You can't do that even with YouTube's player. So they have, they've really put a lot of work into this. So all you have to do is grab this short code and then I go to post. And I'll go to add new, add new post, testing, SVMS one. And then all I have to do is go here and just hit control V and we pasted that in there. So now let's go to our website here. Whoops, page not found. Why is that not found? All right. This could be a problem with my WordPress install. Let's see. Okay, that's strange. So um, let's see. Let's go here to preview changes here and see what happens. There's something going on with my WordPress, and I don't understand that out. 
So let me let me actually install this on another. Let me grab the code here though that I just used for this. Grab the code and we're just going to take the iframe code and I'm going to put it into my HTML page. I'm going to just put it into HTML here. All right, so let's come right over here to the body and let's paste that in there. File, save as. So I'm just pasting in their code. Hit OK. All right, example video. Okay, so we're going to upload that to my server real quick. Let me jump in and upload that. Then in the meantime, I'm going to log in to my other website, which is using SVMS, and I'll show you guys some of the cool features behind it. Okay, so we'll let that video load up here. I always love it when webinars have little glitches, but that is the name of the game. Actually, I want to show you guys something here. So I just logged in, and SVMS is already alerting me to another update. So you can see here the NAMS team is telling me, update now. So I'm going to update that. So we'll let it update. See how simple that was? There we go. All updated now. So now we're on to the newest version of SVMS. And again, this is how simple it is. We had a little glitch there, but I'm going to go right over here, and we're going to use it beautifully on this website. So I'm going to take everything I copied over there and rename it over here. So what does the fox say? Go down to the YouTube link, grab that YouTube link, paste it right on over here, and we're going 640 by 360. We want to align this video in the center. I want it to autoplay. I want to hide the controls on it. And then let's go down here to text. And again, that little glitch was nothing to do with SVMS, but with the way I had WordPress set up. And let's say we want this HTML to show up at five seconds. And redirect URL at the very end. Go ahead and choose Save. All right, now we'll grab our link right here. Go to post. And there's our short code. All right. All right, now we're going to publish that post. There it goes. This is my WordPress theme. It's not the best because I use it for other stuff. All right, did you guys see what just happened there? So right there, that HTML uh, popped up there just as it was supposed to. There's the video. Now I want to show you guys something else. If I were to come back over here. Now, again, I don't have to do anything else with my post now. Let's say that I test this out and I'm like, you know, I don't really like, I mean, you guys can see how much I use this software, right? I mean, look at all these uses right here, all right? Every one of my video sales letters that powers my business and has generated a lot of sales is due in large part to SVMS. So all I have to do is come in here and edit that, and let's pretend I want to make my video even bigger. Let's say, okay, I want it to really pop and stand out, so let's go seven, let's go 800. It's going to automatically resize for it, and... Let's say that I want to put a, um, yeah, put just another space right here. There we go. That way it's not sitting there right at the top. There it is. There's that space. And let's just double check that that's there. Nope, not there. So 
add a little space, or we could add a line here. Let's just do that. And then let's go back to save. And then all I have to do, watch this, I don't even have to go back to my software or back to WordPress. I just have to refresh. And there it is. Now, what's cool about SVMS, so you guys see how that just popped out. Hello, this is SVMS at work. But what's really cool about this software is that you guys saw what happened is that this WordPress theme I have is pretty like constricted, right? So as far as spacing would go. So you can basically resize it on the fly. And so like you see when I hit refresh on this, like notice my video starts bigger, but then it resizes to fit what I have. And so that's where I could say, okay, I should be actually at the 640 because that's going to be a little better video. And you can make that switch. So let's go save here. Now this is, now that I've demonstrated this, I want to show you guys something really cool. Now, this is the video analytics inside of SVMS. So this is the new feature. Now, let me um, pull up, let's see, OTO, VSL, let's go here. So the analytics here, they actually have some cool features they've just added, and you can actually really track into deep detail uh, inside of SVMS. And if you guys have questions about the software, I did want to point out that um, the software creator, David Purdue, is on this webinar. Just um, He's type answering questions for you guys. So if, if anybody has questions like, is this similar to a certain software? Um, you know, is this, is this similar to other ones? How does this compare? David is there to answer those kind of questions for you. So feel free uh, to ask away, and he'll give you a great answer. So... There, like here's one. Is SVMS similar to Press Play? Um, and and here's the main thing. It's like David said. It's actually the best part is SVMS is a one-time fee. Right now, it's a one-time price, as you know, compared to the other ones out there. So yeah. So there we go. So it's a great software. All right, to, you know, there's other ones that people are chiming in about, so David will get you guys an answer. Um, it's a really powerful software, so. Perfect. All right, good deal. So there's that. Now, the video analytics, it's something that's brand new. Um, it was recently added, so that's a feature that you can start to use uh, with your videos in the future. So um, the video analytics tab is just right up here and you guys can actually start to look at your stats and see um, you know, how often a video plays and, and completed plays, average drop off, the completion percentage. That really is going to help you as you move forward. So while I am talking up this amazing software, let me drop the link for you guys, and then I'm going to show you guys a couple other things with SVMS. So, so this is the link for you guys to go right now. So if you guys are interested in SVMS at all, and again, I use it to power my entire business, and I'm not done at all. Like there's so much more that I want to show you with SVMS. So let me just go here, forward slash amazing. There you go. So there's the special offer for today. Um, so pjc.io forward slash amazing, that is the link, pjc.io forward slash amazing, and that will get you guys access to SVMS. Now, right now you guys can get access to it for a one-time fee, so it's just a flat one-time rate, but if you were to, if you were to actually, you know, wait on this, they might charge monthly or they're going to charge a lot more. And right now, you can't get it at this price. So I know that we arranged a very special price. And so this is going to be uh, truly beneficial for you guys. All right. Paul? Yes, David. Hey. There's a couple of questions in here, and I wanted to just jump on here and, and answer that. And if there's anything I can help you with on this, I'm Great. happy to do that. Awesome. Um, 
So somebody says, how does this compare to Vi Simple Video Pro? And I will tell you that comparison questions, I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to because we don't really try to build compared to other people's stuff. We build our software so that it works for marketers specifically to solve marketing problems. And um, I try very hard not to um, to go out there and, and um, emulate what other people do. For example, when you were showing the drop-down buttons and the uh, the autoplay and the redirect and, and there's an opt-in gate on it and there's all kinds of things like that so that people can use for marketing specifically. That is powerful and that to me is probably one of the coolest feature. I mean, when I am literally in the middle and I'll just show you guys the back end of one of my product launch pages, but like when you're in the middle of a product launch and you have to change your video fast, I don't have time to sit here and stress, and I've told you about this before, David, I don't have time to sit there and stress, like, is my video player going to work, right? You want to make that change right away, like, you want to make sure it's going to redirect, right? You want to make sure it's going to look clean, you want to make sure it's going to be mobile friendly. Um, you know, we don't have time to play around with that, and with SBMS, it's like, boom, if I want to make a tweak, I literally, um, you know, can just go in to the software and just make that change on the fly, and I don't have to worry anymore because the change is made. Like I just come in yeah. here, boom, it's done. We have over um, 2,300 videos on MyNamps, all using this software in the database system. 2,300, and we've got the grid feature and the light box, light box feature as well, so you can create your own kind of um, gallery, actually, with your videos as well. So what is your link again for, for people? They want to have this in the uh, chat box here, and I, I didn't have it yep. in front of me. Yeah, it's um, pjc.io forward slash amazing, and that's now in the chat window there, so pjc.io forward slash amazing. Okay, great. Yep, there you guys go. So yep, and it's on the screen as well, and I'm going to demonstrate um, you know kind of the opt-in gate feature here and show kind of an example of that. Now, David, if you want to jump in and take over the screen at any point, you are welcome to as well if you had something you wanted to show. Um, we so could I'll tell you that the, the, um, um, the, the analytics and the opt-in gate is about two days old. Okay. So we have just, just come out with this, and one of the reasons we built this was so that we could use it as a, um, uh, we, let's, let's explain what an opt-in gate is first. So you're watching along on your video and um, you get 15 seconds or 30 seconds into a three minute video or say you've got a webinar replay. Um, uh, and, and what we've done with this is actually eliminate our automated webinar replays because we use this. And so people can watch 10 minutes of a video, the opt-in gate comes up, says give us your email information to continue watching the, the, the webinar. That's the power of this. You're collecting information by hooking people into the video already. Um, and you can set that for any time that you want as you go through. Now, one of the other pieces that's so cool about it is um, that you have that you have the capability with the uh, opt-in stuff now to actually tag. We're, we're integrated with 11, I think it is, uh, autoresponder systems and CRMs right now so that you can actually tag. If you're using Infusionsoft like we do, you can tag uh, anybody who, use, who watches your video um, in your system as, through the opt-in as well. So they click the link, they get tagged. That is powerful, and I see some people already jumping in on this deal, so congrats on that. It's You guys are going to love it. I literally use this for my entire business right now, and uh, it's it's that good. I love the tagging What's feature. The, That's awesome. Yeah, there's that, and, and one of the things I would love for you to demonstrate is, well, actually, um, maybe I can... Yeah, if you want to take the screen. Stuff on our if I just, no, no, not yet. Let me, okay. let me just, let me just make sure I find it first. I got too much stuff <laughs> to show you. I'm so excited. So, um, to take over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you want me to take over? Yeah. So um, there's a question here from James. He says, "Is this an?" He says, "Stay online," and I'm, I'm assuming he means an S, uh, a SaaS software, yeah. something that's in the cloud or on your computer. And James, we build everything. This is my own personal philosophy. I don't want my business to rely on third-party software. So um, I have been in a situation before where what I my business was running and a piece of software broke and we were out for about six weeks. That was terrible. 
Um, so we we built these as WordPress plugins so that it's on your site and is completely controlled by your site. We make updates frequently. When Paul and I first uh, when Paul first got this from us, I think it was version 3.0. I think it was, it was yeah. 7 .4. So we can we use this. We uh, we update these things all the time to fix it for us. So Ruth says uh, she looked in her my name's account but didn't see it. Ruth, you go into your insider club, you click click on the uh, uh, special software and it's there um, that you can download under the uh, custom software um, for the single site license only. I think Paul, today you've got the multi site and the developer site. Correct. Yeah, you don't have the multi sell the single site anymore. Yep. Yep. Donna says is this uh, WordPress only it is not Paul uh, just showed you how you can get the iframe code or the HTML version you can use it on click funnels Shopify um, um, lead pages any of those if you use those third-party type platforms yep do you want me uh, to you got a question here from James about Camtasia as well yeah so I saw that question from James on Camtasia to, to my knowledge James it is just a single uh, you know one computer license that's what I've always received in the past, so it's usually just one, one license for Camtasia. So, yeah, and uh, there's another question in here that I saw. What? Well, whoops, just lost my questions. Hold on. All right. Uh, what does the tagging mean? So, um, tagging is kind of an advanced concept, but. But uh, one of the things that you want to do as you get more involved with your customer base is that you want to be able to segment your list. So, for example, if Paul is selling you videos today and he wants to be able to tag you as a video buyer, so that means you're interested in videos and you're interested in video software, then he can always come back to you and tell you, uh, give you more video training at some point. If tomorrow somebody else buys something about WordPress training, he's got that tag set up in his system. Now you can do that with Infusionsoft, with Entreport, um, Drip. Uh, let's see what other ones, Paul, that are in tagging systems. I think the Market Hero. Actually, is Aweber has started to add that. Yep, and you know, on a, yeah, and it, yeah. and what we do with Aweber is that it's based on this, the uh, list. Really, we're going for the list in Aweber. So if you set up a different list, you can actually segment that way with this very same system. Okay. All right. Stockvideos.com and I should active campaign it. absolutely integrates with active campaign. Active campaign is another one, yeah, that I I'm a big fan of. Yep, yep. Here I'll show you my screen here, guys. This is the uh, HTML here, so you can see there it is playing in HTML, and give it just about four seconds here. Let's see. So there it is. So you guys can see that it'll play in HTML. It'll play in, in any number of the players. So there you guys have it. And that's the power of it, right, is you can take it to lead pages, to click funnels, to, you know, Optimize Press. You guys use Beaver Builder, right? I use Optimize Press a lot, and so does Eric. We do. Yeah. And so you're not, you're not hamstrung. I mean, the Optimize Press player is just, it's, it's an utter joke. I mean, you're limited on what you can do with it, and, and there's a lot of inflexibility and so even I mean lead pages players just it, it's it's very difficult to, to manage and you're really restricted and, and that's where SVMS really kind of separates itself and so you're no longer restrictive and and so it works works extremely well so let me um, Can I show you quickly how to create a light box yeah grid that sounds great do you want to take like to see that I would okay. love that and let's sure. do you want to take the screen sure all right, and I see some more people jumping in, so awesome job, guys. So, so you can uh, answer any questions we have out there, and if you um, hit me with the screen, I will. Perfect. All right. Pull it up. Now, my desk is very messy. <laughs> um, so because I've been doing some, just doing some work here, so let me see what I can find here. Which one is this? Is this main screen? Yeah, main screen. Good. Okay, you should be seeing my. My WordPress installation, is that right? Um, let's see. Back end, simple video system. We are. Oh, yep. you know what? I'm also on um, very slow internet, so this could be a little ugly. All right. Nope, it's clear right I'll now. I'll try to go slow. Yeah, very okay, clear. Good. Yeah. All right. You see, I've got 22,044 videos in this system. This is the back end. This is 
is what happens when you start doing a lot of video. And you know, Facebook says that by 2020, they're going to be almost all video. So you're going to have a lot of videos. And if you do Facebook Live or anything like that, you can use YouTube, MP4s, WebM, uh, which is the Google format, uh, OGG.movie, dot move uh, and Vimeo as well. So the big thing is um, that you can sort this by name, sort it by date created, sort it by light box. And so I could uh, I could just sort by date and come up with the, um, the newest uh, video that we put at the top. It comes right to the top. Um, the other thing that we've added that, Paul, I don't know if you know this or not, yeah. but we now have groups too. Okay. That's so awesome. we can actually do, um, yeah, for example, we have bridge pages. We do a lot of affiliate promotions with bridge pages. And this is my favorite use of this tool because we can create uh, a, a, a bridge page. Um, let me just show you this one real quick, the way this works. This is WP Toolkit. I think it's actually closing tonight. And so one of my favorite features of this is you come to the bottom and you see this down here, pages and posts used on. Yes. If you use this on multiple pages, it'll show down here which pages it's used on. The biggest issue you have with a lot of database managers for video is knowing where your stuff is because you lose it, right? But the other cool thing is you click on the pencil icon here, you can edit that page or you click on the, uh, the uh, link here below and it's going to open up in a new window right to that page. So you can see how that works. Now this is a video bridge page that's coming up. Maybe. Like I said, yep. I'm at it, home on the... It's slowly working, I see it. <laughs> so we've got a headline here. It's playing. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Uh, not quite yet, just about there. Okay. Let me move it ahead yep. a little bit. This is a great, um, just to point out, this is a really good use, guys, for doing affiliate reviews, and, and I love this software for that as well. There it is. It's showing now. 30 seconds into it, this little de deal came at the top. And what it, said, what it is is I just did a, a bridge page use a, a review of this tool, and then I put a, um, and it's a, this is a Warrior Plus product. And I, and I put a, a, a continue button here so that when you click that continue button, it takes you to the sales page with my affiliate link. Now, the reason I do that, of course, is that for affiliate marketing, it's a warm handoff. And a warm handoff is so much better than sending people straight to a sales page, right? You're right. Um, the second thing about this is if you're doing JVZoo promotions, you can't do JVZoo promotions straight to Facebook, they're banned, right? But you can do a bridge page straight to Facebook. So I send people from JVZoo to this page and they will go over. We can do advertising and everything that you can't do with a straight link. So that's one of the reasons we do a, a bridge page. Um, let's that see. So awesome. I should, yeah, now I want to show you that I'll go back to the light grid box, uh, the light grids here, light box grid. This is really good. That's what I wanted to show. So you notice it's got a tab up here that says light box grid. And we have two types of grids, a regular grid. Um, so if you do the regular grid, it's not going to be a light box. Light box is a video that pops up in the middle of the page when you click on it. A regular grid is more like a YouTube style grid uh, so that you see a gallery there. So uh, somebody was asking earlier what the difference is between this and press play and those other kind of things. This is a huge difference right here. Um, so I'm going to create a new one. I haven't done this in a while, so give me just a minute. You'll see the short codes already started to be built, and the, the default is three columns with three videos, three columns with three videos. I can change this if I want. And let's just take uh, these are course um, lessons. So I'm just going to drag those over and sometimes I drag them in the wrong place and there's five, there's six, and seven. I don't have a four. That's interesting. Okay. So um, I'm going to save this grid then, give it a title. Uh, this is 10x grid example. Now here's my short code. 
I'm going to save it. Awesome. I love the use of short codes, by the way. makes it way easy for those using WordPress. Yeah, now, so if I wanted to change anything, add any videos in here, or change any videos out in here, all I have to do is come back here and pull up that short code name there, and those will pop back in here, and I just make the changes, slide them just like I did that, and that's it. So let's add a... Um, Let's add a page. This is on my live site, so. And there's the, the grid. I'm just going to put the grid in there. I can put a headline in it. And here we go. Publish it. That is super use simple page. to use. Now, I heard somebody say earlier, oh, and I didn't make my page full width, so um, that's a um, that's a problem. Let me go back and do this full width. And I use um, I use Genesis for this very reason right here. I can get rid of everything. Watch. Just click that little button, and we're going to update it. And I'm seeing a lot. I don't even know what these videos in. are, Paul. Oh, for the light box, <laughs> and well, well, yeah, this, I, I, and that makes it even better. <laughs> <laughs> and. And James, yep. uh, Jim Landers, he had a great question. I love this. Does SVMS work with Vimeo? I'll let you answer that, David. I know that's a new enhancement. SVMS works with Vimeo on an individual basis. It does not work with um, um, it does not work with Vimeo and grids. So when you click the video, it pops up in like this. This is still rendering in the background, and I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. And so that's a light box that opens up there. And so you can click on that, and you can have the same functions with the HTML and everything in there, but it is um, it the light box opens up and plays on the page itself. So that's what that's I, it's one of my favorite things. We use it a lot for tutorials, um, other um, other stuff like that. There's probably other things I can show you real quickly on this if you want to see, like. Um, um, the um, where the light box setting is on the front that's what I wanted to show you let's just open up this one it's great and love all the questions coming in guys and I've noticed several more people jumping in so great work guys now notice this is on this one is from uh, an mp4 URL and you'll see this is a cloud front so this is s3 so that's uh, that's what we've done there is s3 now the ad media like um, Paul was saying was just add a splash page to that this doesn't have a group established and one of the things that we do is you'll notice uh, Paul when you did your video originally you saw that it was big and then shrunk down to fit the box that you had set up correct yeah what happens is if you set this at 1080 or 1280 or 1920 it comes into that size first and then shrinks smaller so what you want to do is figure out what size is on your page and you know that by your template pretty much and you get to, to used to doing this over time and you drop in the size that you want here for any width or height so if you know it's going to be you know four inches high and you don't care about the width you put that that in here you put in uh, your your pixels here for the width as well. the light box is right here so you have a okay. light box gallery 
and it takes a, a, a splash page as well. And what you do is you create, you can just add here, you can use the same splash page that you have, and it shows it, or you can add a separate splash page. Now that, that grid that I showed you earlier had a really ugly splash page background because we said set this, the uh, same splash page and not, the, not uh, special splash pages on that. So tagging enabled, if I click this, you're going to see that, um, let's see, where is that? Oh, tagging enables means that the opt-in form is going to start at a certain amount of time over the video. So when you start playing the video, you're going to see a, uh, an opt-in form across the top, you, and, it, and then you specify the tag uh, for the video itself. Uh, let's see, That's what great. else do I want to show you here? I love all just so many features here. And again, I want to point out, um, this is lifetime access. I saw a question come in about that. Um, this is lifetime access, not annual, uh, like is tip, which is what is offered right now, I believe, annual or monthly. For SVMS, this is lifetime. Yeah, we, so. we had, we had uh, monthly set up was our original monthly and annual. Then we've gone to annual uh, for our pricing on this tool. Then we are, we are moving to... Um, uh, to, we're actually moving to higher price annual with support. So you'll end up buying the support on this because we're offering a lot of cool things with this. And one of these, you may not even know this either, but we are coming out with a monthly skin system on this. So now we have two skins that you can actually put your video in. Okay. An iMac or an iPad. And so if you click this, the video is going to display just like it's in an iPhone, it's in a computer screen. What? So you see it on the page of this computer screen, yeah. And we've got, we've got 100 new skins coming. So you can uh, put it on a billboard, you can put it on the side of a building, you can do all that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness, that is awesome! And you know, I, I love it. Cool, huh? Yeah, it is really cool. And, and and I see how you have the buy now button there. And I just want to show people how I mean how powerful that is, right? I mean, you are demonstrating like if you're you're really selling somebody on something, and the buy now button appears right at that moment when you're giving the pitch. It's been proven to increase conversions, and that up until now it's about sixty percent. Yeah, a lot bigger difference. So I mean, and and literally up until now, SVMS came out. We did it with our videos, but you had to be a coding professional to do it. Right now, you literally just know how to type and point in your mouse, and you can do it with SVMS. So I can't say enough good things about that feature alone. Okay. Um, let's see. Great. One other thing I wanted to tell you was that we have this thing here called Show Captions, which is different from our HTML. When you click that, it's going to open up another editor box, and the Show Captions all this is is so that you can label your videos. So if you have a grid of 20 videos, and they're going to be tutorial videos, for example, um, you can put a label below each one of them with, uh, you know, WYSIWYG type label, so that it just displays the caption below each of the videos there. That is that's really powerful too. Just having that caption feature, and and again, you you yep, have. Um, you know, my NAMS, which is a huge training platform, and you're using this to host all your training videos as well, right? So this is we sure are. a lot more than sure just are. video sales letter. Mm -hmm. It's it's everything. It is. Okay. All right. I will take the screen back over because I want to show you guys our video that rendered, and then we will slap it onto a website so you guys can see more of SVMS. <laughs> do I need to so, do something, or do you, you um, got it? I'll, I'll take it from here. So I really appreciate you coming on. I mean, it's a real special treat to have David here, the, the mastermind behind this. So I appreciate you coming on and showing some of the features. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. So again, guys, I just want to stress um, just how, um, you know, how important this video is in your business, right? You guys know that because you invested in this. And I personally am using SVMS in my business every single day. Um, and, in, you know, just some of the features, it's always updating. And, you know, even David introduced me to a few things here. I mean, I went through some of the changes there. The analytics gets me really happy. And I know there's software out there called like Wistia that'll do that. But you're looking at paying, I mean, you're, you're paying a massive amount of money every single month for the same level that you're able to get for one-time access with um, with SVMS. So go go to the link now. I'm going to show you guys the video we just made as well so you guys can see that. Um, but there's just 
really literally like unlimited ways to use the power of the software and to really put it in use for your own business. So definitely want to just encourage you guys to check that out. So pjc.io forward slash amazing. Um, in fact, let me show you guys that page here. Let's go right back over here. There we go. So this is the special offer here, guys. Um, some of the features, again, of SVMS, you've got engagement analytics for your videos. You can do the timed call to actions within the video. You have YouTube and Vimeo integration. It is fully mobile responsive, which to me is super powerful. Dynamic videos, easily set the precise width and height, which you guys saw how I was using that with one of my videos. I mean, I could make my video look like a rectangle. I can make my videos look like it's it's like a, a short short rectangle or vertical rectangle I you could get really creative and have like a video playing on the like a banner ad almost on your website I mean there's there's just so many things you can do with SVMS that you cannot do with other video players that you cannot do by just embedding YouTube videos the custom splash splash screens the redirecting your viewers is really cool because they don't even have to click a call to action the automatic display of HTML um, but you guys are going to get the plug-in, the in-depth user guide, and it works with WordPress, Instamember, lead pages, HTML5 pages, Shopify, ClickFunnels, Optimized Press, S3, YouTube, I mean, you name it. So, so check this out, guys. It's super powerful. I have some bonuses for you. Um, there's an A to Z 23 video crash course on using Amazon S3. So for those of you that are... You, you guys have invested in the amazing stock video fire sale, so this would go really well uh, with your purchase. Uh, you also have some software that we're throwing in, Opti ROI, which is a conversion tracking a software that you get PLR to. WP Tube Ninja is another plugin created by one of Eric's developers. Both of those are created by Eric's friend and developer. Those both come with private label rights for you. And then my product called Your First Info product, and then my other product called Your First Sales Funnel, both with PLR. So on top of this amazing deal, you also get these bonuses. So did want to point that out. And you know, I can't tell you guys enough how awesome this is. So enough of that. Let me show you guys this video. Um, so this was the video that we created. So this is the video. I'm just going to take that, copy, and paste it in here. And you guys saw how it literally took me just a few minutes um, to check to create this video. You guys are seeing my screen there. All right, so there, um, there you guys, I mean, that just shows you guys the video right there. But there you guys have it. We literally made that video in just a little bit. And in just a few seconds here, I will have this video playing on one of my websites here. So I'm going to go here to SVMS, going to go to Simple Video Plugin. I'm going to go to Add New. And let's go here to MP4 Video. Go to YouTube URL, throw that in there, because if you're doing Amazon S3, that's where you would put in MP4, so you could drop your Amazon S3 link there. If you want to know how to use Amazon S3, there's that 23-part course you get that comes with it. Um, let's just call this the Amazing Stock Video Fire Sale Demo Video, or Example Video. And let's go down here and change the width here to fit our theme that we have, 640 by 360. I want this to align itself center. I want it to autoplay. And I want to show this HTML below. Click here for SVMS. And I want to make that bold. I want to make that centered here. Then I'm going to highlight. Let's make that font really jump out too. Highlight that and drop in my affiliate link here forward slash amazing that's pjc.io forward slash amazing I could set it to redirect if I wanted to if I wanted to add in an opt-in gate I could force people to put in their name and email to see the rest of the video I mean there's just just some amazing features with this with this software so there it is that loaded up now all I need to do is come back over here and let's go to uh, 
post here. Actually, let me go to pages and I'll just put this on one of my pages in here. So this is an example page. I'll go to my live editor. And I'm using Optimize Press here for this example. And let's, all I have to do is go here and say add element, add element. And I go to HTML. This is how I'm integrating with Optimize Press. This is how I use it with my business. Hit insert. And let's say I want to add the spacing thing. Optimize Press makes that easy. Drag that right up here. Hit save and continue. Okay. Go to view public link. There it is. There is my video. You guys see that? Notice that. Click here for SVMS. Now if I wanted to come back over here, so let's close that out. And let's say there's a few features of that video that I still want to edit and work with. I would come right down here. So amazing stock video fire sale example video. Just go down here to where it says edit. And right here, I have my HTML showing up right away. Let's say I want to make it wait five seconds. And let's also go down here and make that video a little bit bigger because I really want it to pop out. So let's go 800. Again, I'm going to resize it there. Hit save on that. That's all I had to do was hit save. And then here is the change has happened here. Right there. Look at that, guys. The video automatically resized, automatically playing with the video player. At five seconds, you guys saw that. It dropped down. Now, if I were to get, you guys want to see something really cool? Check this out. I'm going to resize my screen like it's for a mobile. Watch what the video player does. So let's pretend I'm on my iPhone now. Boom. See that? Boom. Look how it resizes itself with it. Now find me a video player that does that as consistently as SVMS. And, and, and at the price you're getting it for. It is phenomenal that it does that. And I love that feature of this tool a lot. And that's why Eric Holmland and I rely on SVMS to power our launches. It's not a gimmick or a joke. It's just sharing with you guys what we use to power our online businesses and and there's a reason we turn to this software so it really makes it makes your life a lot easier notice that that's the video we made in just a matter of minutes using the amazing stock video fire sale clips see that so there's that and then let's go back here if i wanted to do more things like let's say i want to take away um, let's come down here. So video skin. Let's say I want to make it in an iMac. Let's see how that looks. And let's go to 740. Change the size there. Let's hit save on that. Come back over here. Refresh. And again, this is what's cool. You can just literally play around. And there it is. And notice I made so you like video. that. Oh, I love it. I'm I'm thrilled. So <laughs> do you guys just see what happened there? That is, that is so awesome. So it's, it's so Paul, let me, let, me, um, uh, let me ask you one more thing. There's one more thing you can show people here yeah. real quickly because this is the part that's so powerful about this. Let's say that you decide you don't like this video any longer, but you like the page, right? All right. All you got to do is go in there and change the video out on the page. Yeah, and I don't have to – this is so cool because you can change on the fly without having to mess with your sales page, right? So I yep, can literally it. come over here and let's just replace it with what does the fox say instead of my other video. Boom. Copy, paste. Come down here. Click on save. And it's done. Just like that. And I come over here and I refresh. And there it is. The new video. New video is playing and it did not impact my call to action right here either. So that's another great feature of of this. And if I want, if you don't, if oh, you don't mind, would you mind show, um, clicking on the link I put in your chat box as well? Because um, yeah. I know we've talked about uh, Camtasia, but I want to show people quickly how you can use your phone to create a very fast video and get it up on site using SVMS and your phone. Definitely, this is a sales page that's going up today, right? 
And that video I shot this morning on my deck <laughs> with my iPhone, I edited it on my iPhone, loaded it to YouTube, and dropped the YouTube link into SVMS and had it on this page within about an hour. That is awesome. Yeah. That is so really right. slick. I love that sales page too. And I love the pink shirt as well. That is yeah, popping. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that, yeah, that, I mean, look how simple that is just to pull it up. And, and that's what I love about this too, is you can literally copy, paste, done, copy, paste, yeah. done. And, yeah. and it's as simple as that. So again, it's, it's right there, pjc.io. You guys can check out all the features. Um, you can play around, change the link out. I mean, literally, I could come over here and take um, take David's video here and throw that onto my example sales page here. Copy that and go right on over here. Paste it. Hit save and we're done. By the way, what you're talking about there is something people are doing a lot of videos on YouTube that have embed quality yeah. uh, or checked embeddability and then they use those videos as, as the content supporting their affiliate program. So, you know, you can do that. That is, no, that's my awesome. embed. Yep. And my sales pages look a lot better with you in a pink shirt than me. So I, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, <laughs> we've got something here. That is, that's outstanding. So, um, no, this is this really, in all seriousness, you guys saw how cool that is. And and honestly, I I use this tool a lot, but I didn't really dig into the iMac feature. I mean, now, like, I'm going to go back and test some of my sales pages, right? I mean, it's as simple as a drag and drop down. Like, I'm going to make this into an iPad now and go to save, and then we'll refresh that page again. So, and you can, again, test it because little tweaks like this can change your conversions. I really screwed now, did I have the sizing wrong on my video, David? I know there's a simple fix for that, right? Yeah. So your sizing on your video, it, the reason it's popping out and in, you got it at 730. Okay. I'd make it about 560. 560. And, and by default, I noticed it goes there. I just overwrote it, and, and that's why it messed up on me. So the software... Well, uh, actually... Remembers what you had last time. Oh, okay. Is that what it does? Okay. Yep. Yep. So if you refresh, it won't be as big when it pops in. Okay. There you go. That makes sense. See, that is really cool. That's slick. That is a, a really cool software. So, congrats to those that have jumped in. I know we've seen a few, um, but again, you guys have seen it with your own eyes. This is this is really powerful. We took a simple video and made it, and you know, I just can't, I can't recommend this tool enough. I mean, Eric and I use it in our entire business. We've done probably seven figures in sales with SVMS launches. And so, you know, that is easily uh, something we could, we can say. And this is a software that's, that's produced those kind of results. I mean, it's video is what makes people buy. And, and another thing I love, I mean, our upsell sales pages that all you guys have seen, they're simple, but they seem to convert really well in our funnels. And what's driving those upsell pages is is simple video management system. So it's you know because they're they're all video pages, and so frankly, it's SVMS that's powering our video sales letters. And so that is really a big driver behind our revenue numbers and what happens in our launches. So uh, it's a great tool, and I hope you guys enjoyed so this Paul, little presentation. Yeah. Well, just one thing before we leave here, we probably should explain what multi-site versus developer's license is. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah, so we, go ahead. yeah, go ahead. So we got, yeah, multi-site. It means that you guys can use this on unlimited websites that you own. So unlimited websites that you own um, in your name, your domains, and then developers means you can actually set up SVMS on client websites. So you could get paid to host videos for local clients and charge them. $50 a month to manage their videos or $200 a month to manage their videos and there's people that do that and so that that to me is really powerful you could set up sales pages and you know pages for their website for their blogs those types of things and both licenses is phenomenal and and you guys are going to an annual pricing or the there's going to be residual basic basically so this is your chance to get it for one time um, for either option that's it
Yep. So there we go, guys. So let me throw the link up here one more time. If you have more questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, we will um, jump off this webinar. But pjc.io forward slash amazing. And this is your opportunity. I'm going to drop it in the chat window one more time. I'm seeing questions coming in, so we'll answer those. And again, thank you again, David, for being here. Uh, really appreciate you showing us this tool. And we will get this replay out to everybody as soon as possible. Thank you, sir. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So um, any other questions for me? You guys are most welcome. Um, very welcome on the Camtasia walkthrough. And uh, Jim, here is the link one more time. So the link I'm dropped in the chat window for you, and I'm also sending it to you privately. It's pjc.io forward slash amazing. All right, and I'm seeing people still jumping in, so great job, guys. All right, let us know you can we can help you with Amazing Stock Video Fire Sale. If you have questions, uh, contact our support desk. Micah is in there around the clock helping you guys out. So again, um, congrats to the latest people that just jumped in on this deal. It's a steal, and it's something you definitely should take action on. Again, Eric and I use it for our businesses, and uh, we believe that you know, this is something that will power your business as well. Um, let's see here. Terry said the link is not working. Uh, let me check on that real quick. Yep, that seems to be working well right there. Um, Terry, I'll drop you another link. Um, all right, cool. Jim said it worked for him. Great training. And, you know, I'll share with you guys the other... Um, the other link that I'm actually using is, or the, the tool I'm using to actually do the redirects um, that was working fine for me is Simple Click Tracker, which is another tool created by David and his team. So um, to say that, you know, I rely on NAMS Toolkit to power my business is an understatement, and it, and it really is. So I use these tools to run my online business, and so I can, I can recommend them um, wholeheartedly to you guys. Um, for that reason, so because I use them in my business, I'm going to grab another link here uh, for. Uh, let me grab a link here for those that the link for whatever reason may not be working. I'll grab this link for you as well. But the simple click tracker is the little um, redirect tool that I'm using, and again, that's another NAMS toolkit product that that you guys can get access to. So let me drop that in your chat window there. All right, if that first link doesn't work, which it's been working for me and other people, but um, this link will get you directly to that page to get this special offer. All right, any further questions for me? Now's a great time to ask. All right, great, Terry. Awesome, Terry. Glad that link worked for you. Um, you're welcome, Joanne. Most welcome. And Diva, loved seeing um, that you're having some great success out there. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, yeah, Sheila said the skins are really awesome. I, I had a similar reaction when I first saw those skins today. That's the first I saw those. So really cool. All right, thanks to everybody that has, yeah, um, James, you would, uh, you would contact support, um, the NAM support, and I'm, I think we could probably figure something out for you, so definitely, um, but just, yeah, for this special deal, though, the, the $97 offer, the one time, is, is really kind of special during this during this webinar event. So make sure you take action as, as soon as you can. Um, again, the countdown timer on that sales page, and, and that countdown timer is using another NAMS toolkit tool as well called Simple Count um, SCC. So um, it's it's another Simple Countdown Creator. There we go, Simple Countdown Creator. So um, Simple Countdown Creator, Simple Click Tracker, Simple Video Management Systems. What I've been showing you guys, but um, right, I mean, you guys can see this that I'm using NAMS toolkit tools to run this promotion. So I'm not trusting it to a third party. I'm using 
NAMS toolkit tools to run my business. So when people say, what are you using to run a successful online business, Paul? It's these tools and that's why I'm sharing it with you and that's why I'm so passionate about it because you have to have a video player these days if you want to successfully use videos online. So why not use a tool that the experts are using and why not use the tool that I, am, I put all my trust in and that David trusts to power his business and that's why he supports it so well. So, um, so you may as well jump on what's working and this is a tool designed for internet marketers. Some of the other tools out there, they may be great but they are designed for a broader scope of businesses. This is designed for what's best for us as internet marketers and, and info product creators and infopreneurs and bloggers and, and people in those, in those verticals. So this is perfect for you, you're on this webinar. Um, yeah, all the NAMS products, they have great support, um, Jim was saying, and, and he's spot on there. So really good. You're welcome, Arlene, for the training. Happy to do this for you. Yeah, it's a real deal. All right, thanks again, guys. That's the link, pjc.io forward slash amazing, and I will get this replay up. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out to support. Thanks again to uh, David Perdue for taking his time to be here tonight and sharing this with us, and we're excited to see you guys using this tool in your business.